Hey guys, it's Aaron Respect. Here is a fresh out of early access arena FPS called Reflex Arena. For those who haven't heard of Reflex Arena, it's a return to the roots, pure, fast, first person shooter. You'll be pushed to your limits facing other contestants in a range of rich and diverse arena based environments. So let's talk about what's good about the game and what isn't. The Map Editor it can be easily accessed in-game and the developers integrate and support community maps and matchmaking. And when I said pure arena shooter, there's armor, health, power-ups, weapons laid across the map with teleporters, jump pads, etc. The weapons feel great, so let's run through them real quick. We have the burst gun, which fires in a shotgun-esque pattern, but you quickly want to find another weapon when you spawn. Speaking of the shotgun, it happens to be the next weapon and it's exactly what you expect, a close range weapon. Moving on to the grenade launcher, which they say is the spam king, and you can use it to bounce the shot around corners, over ledges, etc. Next is the plasma gun. It has a high rate of fire. The developers say use it in tight spaces and spam fire to scare and trap enemies. But if you have any other weapon, I suggest using that instead. Now onto the main weapons you want to be using, starting with the rocket launcher. It's the most versatile weapon and definitely the weapon you want to try to get your hands on after spawning. Next we have the ion cannon, which if you played Quake or any other arena shooters, it took its inspiration from the lightning gun. The last gun is the bolt rifle, which is this game's version of the railgun. Matchmaking feels smooth, I've yet to run into a problem with lag, getting shot through walls, or shots not connecting. There's also an in-game ranking system and competitive playlists. The game modes, there's Free For All, Instagib, 4v4, Clan Arena, Team Deathmatch, Capture the Flag, Arena Duel, Duel, Doubles, and more in private matches. They give the tools to customize, edit, and resize your HUD in a bunch of different ways, along with player customization with different armors, melee weapon skins, and of course, you can pick your colors. The movement in this game is fast, and the skill gap is wide, with ramp jumps, rocket jumps, plasma climbing, and plenty of more things to learn. The spectator mode is pretty basic, where you just swap point of views or free cam. There's some negative things about this game, but I say they can be fixed. The issue right now is a small player base, so search times and even matches could be hard to get, which may turn new players to the genre away. But overall, the community it has has been very helpful. Right now, the game doesn't have an announcer, and I believe it can only benefit by adding one in the future. So overall, if I were to score the game 1 through 10, I'd give it a solid 9. The graphics and visuals could be better, but the gameplay makes up for it. Thanks for watching the video. Let us know your thoughts of the game regardless of if you played it down in the comments. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ArenaHub.